Hi everyone, so this is lesson four, the last one for parametrics. And parametrics is really, really nice. Now this bit's new, this is new to the spec. We never used to integrate, but if you can kind of follow this, this way, we can, um, we can sort it out. So it says the area is the integral of y dx. So then it says, find dx by dt in terms of t and make dx the, the subject. Right then, so I'm just going to do it over here at the side, and I'll probably urge you to do it over here at the side. So x is 1 plus t cubed, so dx by dt is 3t squared. It says make dx a subject, because I want to replace this dx. So dx is 3t squared dt. So that's going to become 3t squared dt. It says convert the limits. So I'm doing x is 1. I need to change it into t. So that, that's one bit here. So now I've got to look at the limits. So when x is 1, I've got 1 is equal to 1 plus t cubed. If I take away the 1, it's 0. Cube root it, it's 0. And then for the 28, I've got 28 is 1 plus t cubed. If I take the 1, it's 27. If I cube root it, it's 3. So these are my new limits. Uh, and then I substitute anything for into into t's, so that y changes. Uh, y is going to be t to the 4 plus t. And that bottom limit there we've said is going to become a 0. And that top limit we've said is going to become a 3. So my integral changes. It's a bit like integration by substitution, really, isn't it? So it's now not to 28. I uh, know oh, it's not 28. It's not to 3. Not to 3. t to the 4 plus t, which is the y replaced, and a 3t squared dt. If I just take the 3t squared through, I've got 3t to the 6, 3t cubed dt there. Exact area means I'm going to integrate. I can't just use my calculator. My calculator will give me a decimal answer. So sorry about this. You have to do the exact. So it'll be 3t to the 7 over 7 plus 3t to the 4 over 4, going between 0 and 3. So I've got 3 lots of 3 to the 7 over 7 plus 3 lots of 3 to the 4 over 4, minus, in this case, if I stick 0 and you get 0 out, we don't quite get that. Uh, and it will give me, according to the completed part, oh no, man. it will give me, to the completed part, 2, 7, 9, 4, 5, over 28. And that's not too bad, is it, really, if you think about what you did. So all you did was change the limits, change the dx, change the y. It's integration by substitution. Right, so there's one for you. Delete. Delete. So look, see, dx has become... Uh, the limits have changed. And the y is that bit. Uh, not too bad, is it? That's not bad at all. There's another question, another example on the next page, so I'll do it on a separate vid. Okay. Bye-bye.